Hi there, I'm Jessica Woods with the City of Round Rock's Water Conservation Program and I want to talk to you about rain sensors. Why you would want a rain sensor and how to install a rain sensor properly. So you would want a rain sensor during a rain event or immediately after a rain event. The way the sensor works is it shuts off the irrigation cycle during a rain event or if it rained, say, yesterday and your system is supposed to turn on today, it would prevent that cycle from happening because you can take advantage of the free rain. Rain sensors can come in two varieties, a wireless or a wired rain sensor. The rain sensor is installed in an unobstructed location so rain can fall into the top of it. You don't want it under a tree, you don't want it under the eaves. You want it clear so the rain can fall in the top. There's a disc inside that sensor that mimics the soil, so when it fills up with the amount that you choose, if you're on the side, when the rainfall reaches that amount, it sends a signal back to the controller to delay the next watering cycle. After the rain sensor is installed on your controller, one of the main things you need to make sure you do is make sure it is active on the controller. Most controllers have a button on the face of it that says active or bypass. You just need to make sure that's in the active position so that way the rain sensor can work for you. If you have an irrigation system without a rain sensor or without a working rain sensor, the city does have a rebate program to help you with the purchase of that. You can find the application online at roundrocktexas.gov slash water conservation.